很，那也也一句。Snow is very lovely, isn't it? So peaceful and pure. It makes me forget things. It doesn't make me forget. How fierce you sound! I was thinking. What sort of thinking? Eyes on a bedroom jug. Children roll and bleeding. One thing red blanket. A child shivering with cold and fear. And fear. It sounds too too grim. <laughs> What is it? A、uh, novel. You didn't know I was a writer, did you? Oh, are you? <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. Actually, I'm not. Monkswell Manor Guest House. What?、Uh, I'm afraid Mr. Ralston can't come to the telephone just now. This is Mrs. Ralston speaking. Who? The Berkshire Police? Yes. Yes, Superintendent Hockman. But I'm afraid that's impossible. He'd never get here. We're snowed up. Completely snowed up. The roads are impassable, and nothing can get through. Yes. Yes. Very well. But what?、Uh, hello. 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 Molly, do you know who this another spade? Charles, the police. The, the police had just rung up. Troubles with the police, huh? Serving liquor without license. They're sending out an inspector or a sergeant or something. But, but he'll never get here. That's what I told them. But they seem quite confident that he would. Nonsense! Even a Jew couldn't get through in this. Anyway, what's it all about? That's what I ask. But he wouldn't say. Just said I was to impress on my husband to listen very carefully to what Sergeant Trotter, I think it was, had to say, and to follow his instructions implicitly. Isn't it extraordinary? What on earth did you think we've done? I had a rather near shave with the car the other day, but it was entirely the other fellow's fault. We must have done something. Probably something to do with running this place. I expect we've ignored some temper regulation or some ministry or others. Practically, you can't avoid it nowadays. Oh dear! I wish we'd never started this place. We're going to be snowed up for days, and everyone is cross, and we shall go through all our reserve of things. Oh, day. job, darling. <laughs> Everything is going to be all right at the moment. Well, you know, Molly. Come to think of it, it must be something pretty serious to send a police sergeant trekking out in all this. It must be something really urgent. Do you think it will be the? Oh, there you are, Mr. Rustin. Do you know the central heating in the library is practically stone cold? Sorry, Mrs. Boyle, we've got a bit short of cokes and there's nothing with the cold. I am、and、paying seven guineas a week here, seven guineas, and I do not want to freeze. I'll go and stock it up. Mrs. Rustin.
if you don't mind my saying so. That is an extraordinary young man you have staying here. His manner, his ties, <laughs> and does he ever brush his hair? He's an extremely brilliant young architect. I beg your pardon. Christopher Wren is an architect. My dear young woman, I've naturally heard of Sir Christopher Wren. Of course, he was an architect. He built temples. You young people seem to think that no one is educated but yourselves. <laughs> I meant this Wren. <laughs> His name is Christopher. His parents called him that because they want him to be an architect, and he is, or nearly one. So it turned out all right. <laughs> Sounds a fishy story to me. I should make some inquiry about him if I were you. What do you know of him? <laughs> Just as much as I know about you, Mrs. Boyle, which is, you are both paying us seven guineas every week. That is really all I need to know, isn't it? And all that concerns me. It doesn't matter to me whether I like my guests or whether I don't. <laughs> you are young and inexperienced, and should welcome advice from someone more knowledgeable than yourself. <laughs> and what about this foreigner? What about him? You weren't expecting him, were you? To turn away a bona fide traveler is against the law, Mrs. Boyle. You should know that. Why did you say that? Weren't you a magistrate sitting on the bench, Mrs. Boyle? <laughs> All I said is that this Paravacini or whatever he called himself seems to me that he is. Beware, dear lady. <sighs> you talk of the devil, and here he is. <laughs> I didn't hear you coming. I came in on tiptoe, like this. <laughs> Nobody ever hears me if I do not want them to. I find that very amusing. Indeed. Now there was a well, 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 well. I must get on with my lacquer. I'll see if it's a little warmer in the drawing room. Oh, my charming hostess was upset. What is it, dear lady? Everything's rather difficult this morning mm -hmm. because of the snow. Yes, snow makes things difficult, does it not? Or else, it makes them easy. Yes, very easy. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> no, there's a quite a lot you do not know. I think, for one thing. That you do not know very much about running a guest house. I dare say we don't, but we meant to make a go of it. Bravo, bravo! I'm not such a very bad cook. You are, without doubt, an enchanting cook. <laughs> May I give you a little word of warning, Mrs. Blossom? You and your husband must not be too trusting. You know, have you references with this guest? Of yours. Is that usual? <laughs> I always thought people just just came. It is advisable to know a little about the people who sleep under your roof. Take, for example, myself. I turn up saying that my car is overturned in a snowdrift. What do you know of me? Nothing at all. I may be a thief, a robber, a fugitive from justice. A madman, even <laughs> a murderer. <laughs> you see, and perhaps you know just as little of your other guests. Well, as far as Mrs. Boyle goes, <laughs> she thinks that you, the drawing room, is far too cold to sit in. I shall write my letters in here. Allow me to pocket the fire for you. Mrs. Sawson, is your husband about? I'm afraid the pipes of the uh, downstairs cockroom are frozen. Oh dear! What an awful day! First the police and then the pipes. Police? Police? Did you say? Uh, um, they rang up just now to say they're sending a surgeon out here. 
but I don't think he'll ever get here. <laughs> and the prize is... Pollution is in the matter. I hear the police are only were here. Why? Oh, that's all right. Nobody will get through in this. Why? The drifts must be five feet deep. The roads are all backed up. No one will get here today. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Barbaccini. May I put this down? Are you Mr. Roston? Uh, yes. Thank you, sir. Detective Sergeant Chorter, brochure, please. Can I get these keys off and store them somewhere? Oh, go around that front door. I'll meet you. Thank you, sir. I suppose that's what we pay our police force for. Nowadays, to go around enjoying themselves at Winter's Sports. Why did you send it for the police, Mrs. Lawson? But I didn't. And, oh, where did he come from? He passed the drawing ring in the door. I skied all over the snow and looked terribly hot. <laughs> you may believe it or not, but that man is a policeman. A policeman skiing! <laughs> Uh, this is Detective Sergeant Trotter. Good afternoon. You can't be a surgeon. You are too young. I'm not quite as young as I look, madam. <laughs> but terribly hard. I will stow you your skis away under the stairs. Excuse me, Mrs. Dawson, but may I use your telephone? Uh, of course, Major Metcalf. He is very attractive, don't you think so? I always think that policemen are very attractive. No brands, you can see that at a glance. Hello? Hello? Mm. Mrs. Sasson, the telephone was dead. Quite dead. But it was all right about half an hour ago. The line's gone with the weight of snow, I suppose. <laughs> so, we are quite cut off now. Quite cut off. That's funny, isn't it? I don't say anything to laugh at. No, indeed. Um, it's a private joke of my own. Hey, Mr. Luth is returning. Now we can get some business, Mr. Ralston. Mrs. Ralston? Do you want to see a salon? If so, we can go into the library. It's not necessary, sir. It'll save time if everybody's present. If I might sit at this table? I beg your pardon. Thank you. Oh, do hurry up and tell us, what have we done? Done? Oh, it's nothing of that kind, Mrs. Charleston. It's something quite different. It's more a matter of police protection. If you are